Okay, so now I'll show you some baby and toddler books that Usborn offers. So that first of all, I'll show you um, my absolute favorites. These ones we got our kids, um, these ones for Christmas. Um, so we have Adventure, um, Jungle Animals, um, Muddle and Match Imagine, and also there's um, Muddle and Match Monsters. And so these books are really neat because if you look, they have three different flaps that you flip. So this one will show a princess and you'll flip it and you'll see a fairy. And so I'll read this page for you. It says, Florence, the forgetful fairy, flaps her fabulous fairy wings and flies to find her forest fairy friends. So, um, anyway, so, so it shows a fairy and then the next page shows a mermaid. You know, all, most of the words start with N. And so then there's a wizard. Okay, and a ballerina. And a cowgirl. Okay, and so then the boy one is like that too. You know, it has a knight and a pirate. And a cowboy. And let's see, a knight. A racer. So just different ones. A wizard. Okay, so that's my lawn match. And I... Those are our favorite. Okay, and then um, some really awesome ones for babies that my baby loves is the That's Not My Series, and you might have heard these. Oozborn is very popular for them. This one's That's Not My Penguin, That's Not My Cow, That's Not My Puppy, and I'll show you this one. This one's my baby's favorite. Okay, That's Not My Puppy, Its Coat Is Too Hairy. That's Not My Puppy, Its Tail Is Too Fluffy, and then they can feel the tail. And these ones are really special. If you see the a black outline that makes it so it pops out for babies to see better and it just makes it so it draws their attention and also if you're reading with a little older readers they can find a, mouse, a hidden mouse on each page and that's not my puppy it's paws are too bumpy that's not my puppy it's um, collar is too shiny that's not my puppy it's ears are too shaggy that's my puppy his nose is so squashy so that's that's not my series, and there's also that's not my fox, that's not my fairy, that's not my elephant, that's not my lamb, that's not my pony, that's not my tractor, that's not my train. So there's a lot of those um, that you can choose from. Okay, this is Baby's Very First Touchy Feely Farm Playbook and Animals Playbook, and there's quite a few of these in this series, and so there's, you know, just a lot going on for a little baby. Not a lot of words, but there's, you know, they're for a baby, and they can follow that along. There's different textures. Lots and lots going on for them to fill and trace. Okay, so that you can trace the snake, fill the monkey's fur. Okay, and then this one's got a lot going on too. There's flaps to see the chick, the um, chickens inside, and some fur. If you look at that, and then lift that flap, fill the sheep's wool. Okay, so that's a farm playbook. And then we also have, and we'll do this one, it's called Ocean Animals. Okay, and in this series, this is the Flippy Floppy series. And so in this one, there's um, kind of a jungle book, a farm book, there's this Ocean Animals. And so what happens is there's, I'll read it, you, can you find me? I'm hiding somewhere. And so it says, it's me, squid. It's me, shark. It's me, discus fish. Hey, you found me. So uh, if you look, you got to find the turtle on this side as well as see on that side. So each side is like that, and they have lots of flaps to, to turn. Anyway, so my kids love this book. It really keeps their attention, and they love flipping the flaps. So that's flippy floppy books. Um, some that I don't have is the Peek Inside series, and there's... Um, quite a few in that series and uh, they're really fun and that's definitely next on my list but if you'll take a look at those on our website they're definitely worth uh, your time to look at but I don't actually have any to, to show but they're a, they're a great series too and this one is kind of like a tummy time book for a little baby um, it's one two three counting and it folds out as well as is can be like a book you know but um, it's also good not only for babies but also for like my four year old because uh, well he knows how to count pretty good but he can count the fish on it and then ask me if he's right or the flowers and anyway so I like this one for all ages of 
my children. And then another one that my kids got for Christmas that's really fun is called All Better. And this one comes with stickers, so um, I'll read this page. Oh no, a dog wasn't looking where he was going. Um, ouch, clean it, and then you go like this, kiss it, and then you put a bandage on it. All better. Okay, so here's a monkey, a sheep, an elephant, and you do the same thing. He stepped on his trunk, put a bandage on it. All better. Bear. Okay, and then it says at the end, dog, monkey, sheep, elephant, and bear know it's to Clean it, kiss it, put a bandage on it, makes everything all better. So that one's really fun. Okay, and then we have um, these ones, it's called phonics readers. And we have a lot of these um, different books. And then, um, okay, so this one's called Raccoon on the Moon. And if you see, it focuses on the ooh sound. So I'll give you an example of that. Of that. Okay, goodbye, cries Raccoon. I'm off to the moon. Um, I'll be back by lunchtime or late afternoon. Goose uh, grins and she giggles. You foolish raccoon. Okay, so it focuses on the ooh sound, if you notice that. It's really pretty. And so there's some other ones in here. Um, the Oosborn Offers, and, uh, you know, there's Frog on a Log, um, there's also Combined Volumes, so if, uh, well, yeah, so there's Combined Volumes, and so if you buy, you can buy, uh, like, six stories or so in one binding, and it comes with, um, some of the Combined Volumes are Ted and Friends, Cow Takes a Bell, so if you buy, uh, multiple stories in one binding, then you can save money, that way. Um, so anyway, this one's Raccoon on the Moon. And okay, so some other ones we have is dual readers. So what you do with these is you can either read the story on the top and it'll make sense, or you can read the story on the top and the bottom. So if you have a beginning reader, you can read just um, have them read the story on the top while you read the story on the bottom, or if you have, a, say, a two-year-old that doesn't want to read the whole story and doesn't have a very long attention span, you can read just the top um, when they're getting ready for bed. And also, there's several stories in here, and uh, so you can, you know, read one at each night or whatever. And then it also comes with a CD. So this one's called The Little Book of Train Stories. Okay, and then we also have this series, it's called uh, Little Red Penguin series, and so um, the, we also have Little Red Penguin um, Learn Colors, Learn Numbers, Learn Shapes, and this one's Learn Words, and so it says, who is hiding behind the bush? It's my friend beginning with D, dot. Okay, and then who is hiding behind the door? It's someone beginning with M, mom, and so each page, you know, has a little bit to read, and then Let's see, a flap, so there's a cat, okay, so that's kind of fun, and it's great for putting in a diaper bag or in the car, and it doesn't take up a lot of space, so my kids have really enjoyed that one. Okay, and then here's some more that we have, first hundred words in English, we have in Spanish, and French, and German, and then there's also a first sticker book of first English words, so anyway, I'll show you inside this first hundred words in English. My girls are trying to get her to speak more, so we got this one, hoping... Maybe it help learn how to say words, but you know it shows the shoes, a picture of them, and then they need to find them on this page somewhere. So anyway, that's kind of a fun book, and we have quite a few of these type of books to choose from. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed our baby and toddler books.